Okay, so a bit of something different today. I probably sound a decent bit different with this uh with this microphone here. I'm not in not in a good way. Um but sometimes you got to do what you got to do, switch over to uh this layout. So you might notice that my microphone isn't here. My good microphone. This is the uh, headset microphone. You might notice that uh my monitor isn't isn't here. You might notice that my chair isn't here. This is this is a different chair. They are currently on the other side of the city. Um, at the uh, at the venue where Fragapalooza 2022 is going to be going on, which will be like the first weekend of August, but we're doing a test event this weekend. So I went over there and helped set up, and I have like my whole PC set up there. I have my good PC here still. I'll take my good PC out there for like the full event. I took my not as good PC out there for the uh, demo event. And I wanted to stream over there and uh, whatnot at this uh, LAN party. Who beat us, man? It doesn't sound too bad, right? Probably. I hope. I don't know. I'm gonna <laughs> turn this down a smidge is what I'm gonna do. This is gonna be a one-off. This is gonna be like a really short stream and a stream and whatnot. So this weird audio-ness and weird setup-ness is just gonna be for this one stream and that's it. So, oh. Why, why can't I, um... Yeah, so load it. What? What? I'm so confused! Is it important or is it not? I hit back? Oh, okay. Um, it was loud? Okay, I can adjust it a little bit here. I'll adjust it to, like, here, and I'll adjust the game down farther, essentially. So, I did want to stream at the actual venue, so we got all the- Oh my goodness, I don't have something to rest my head on back here, it's weird. Um, <laughs> something oddly charming with the potato bike, it's gonna be a one-off, I apologize. It's a one-off just for a very short stream and a stream today is the uh, is the case. There, let's adjust that down. Yeah, my uh, good microphone, my good chair, my monitor that's usually here. It's just empty space right now. Um, are all on the other side of the city at this uh, at this venue and whatnot is the uh, is the case. So we got everything set up. We've got four rows of tables out there. There was a uh, I could show it actually briefly when it was uh, when. I was posting it in, like, Discord. Let's see here. If I go to, I guess it'd be Display Capture 1, right? Display Capture... No. Uh, no. That's... Gosh darn it. Display Capture this? Yeah. This. I, one of my monitors is missing, so it's all mixed up. We got all the cabling set up, so we have four rows of tables, and there can be, like, PC setups on, like, either side of each of these. So, you know, a whole bunch of people. So, like, two setups per each of these square tables, and then, like, one setup per round table. So, I took a round table, is what I did with my setup. So, that's the PC that's currently over there. These headphones are, like, the same ones I'm wearing right now. I figured, like, eh, I can just, you know, take these back and forth. It's not too bad. Evidently, my Switch is here. I have a different dock. You know, so some stuff has, like, gone back and forth. But that's where my monitor is is over in there. When I left this, uh, I, you know, I was the first person that was set up here with, like, this for the, uh, for the test event. But by the time that I left, you know, there were people that were set up, like, here. There was people set up here. There was a couple back there. So, you know, a decent bit of the space, like, this corner, at least, was kind of, was kind of filled. And I wanted to do a stream while we were, uh, while we were there. <laughs> you saw that? You see nothing. You see no You suspects is nothing. Anyway, um, <laughs> anyway, um, I wanted to do a stream while while I was there because I was like, oh, this will be like an interesting change of pace and whatnot. Um, this will be like real interesting there, and you know, be at this venue and whatnot and be streaming that. And everybody was like at their setups and gaming. But nobody was streaming or even talking. Everybody was just, like, there, absorbed in, like, their own worlds and whatnot. And it was just, like, complete silence over this venue as it was getting late. And it just felt really awkward. And I didn't want to be that one guy that, you know, starts talking like this and whatnot. And, you know, is echoing his voice around, like, the whole small building there and whatnot while everyone else is, like, dead silent. So I felt super awkward. So I waited around for a little while, hoping that somebody else would start streaming. Somebody else would, like, start talking and playing games with, like, another person so that there'd be like talking going on and it never happened so i came home and now i'm just streaming live alive live alive whatever the heck it uh <laughs> i picked this up before i went to the venue i hope to stream this for the first time at the venue heck maybe we'll be streaming it like tomorrow at the actual venue because maybe there will be there should be more people there by then like today was mostly set up and such yeah maybe nobody wants to be the first maybe maybe so anyway i'm uh 
I'm going to be going out to this venue tomorrow. I couldn't even use my capture card at the uh, venue because uh, my computer that I brought there, it's like a bunch of parts that I've recycled from previous builds. Like it has, that PC has a decent few parts from like my old computer, for example. Um, it's mostly just like old parts that were lying around. Turns out it doesn't have a single USB 3.0 part and my uh, Elgato HD60S needs a USB 3.0 port to work. And it only has USB 2.0 ports on that computer, so I straight up can't use my good capture card. Good thing my old capture card uses USB 2.0, but I didn't bring it with me. I, uh, I lent it to my little cousin there. So I asked him if I could pick it up. I'd probably just, like, pick it up before I go out to the venue again, like, in the morning tomorrow. And he asked me, like, oh, can I, uh, can I come with you? I'm bringing, like, my PC stuff and set up. And I was like, sure. So, <laughs> so tomorrow morning, I'm gonna be heading out with my, uh, with my little cousin to, uh, the older of my two little cousins <laughs> to the, uh, to the venue. I will probably just be like playing a bunch of video games all day and whatnot so so there's that so if i do do any live alive tomorrow with like my not as good capture card then it'll be at a very different venue and maybe it'll be with uh the older of my younger of my little cousins there you know maybe 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 i don't know if he's uh <laughs> if he'd be interested in live alive we might play something else yeah he's probably gonna enjoy that that'll probably be a good time so yeah that might be uh that might be a thing that's going on there so we shall see. <laughs> we'll see if he's interested in, like, any of the current things I'm doing playthroughs of. <laughs> we shall, uh, we shall see. So yeah, that's the, uh, plan. And that's the reason why I'm here today with a not good microphone. Actually, wait a second. I technically didn't leave the microphone there. Hold on. I brought like with me there because I wanted to set up oh, the mic arm and stuff there. I do technically have my good microphone literally right here, but it's all apart and in pieces and stuff with the mic arm and stuff because uh, you see, when this was set up here before, it was like right back here like that, and it was propped up against the wall, so I was able to help keep it stable. Turns out you're supposed to screw a screw thing or bob into the back of this to keep it propped up otherwise or else it just falls out. And I don't know if I have that or where it would be or anything like that, so I couldn't do that. So late tonight I'll look around for something like that because, yeah, I couldn't get the uh, microphone set up. And I didn't want to, like, reset it up over here just for, like, a very, sh very short stream and a stream here. So, yeah, that's the, uh, that's the situation with this, essentially. That's the situation here. So yeah, I couldn't use a good microphone while I was there. Let me put it on the side. Couldn't use a good microphone. Couldn't use my capture card. I could stream PC stuff. I could stream a near replicant. And I was planning on streaming near replicant a little bit more of that. But again, nobody was chatting, and I didn't want to be a. <laughs> I didn't want to be that weirdo that started. But yeah, um, but yeah, the hypey radiance is for you to actually commit to the construction of your pyramid ship on the server because he's doing all these cool things. Can't be left behind. Well, that's awesome to hear. Glad to hear that he's being inspiring there. Anyway, um, I've been giving this intro for like way too long now. We did the demo, and the demo had, like, three stories, and we started with the far future when it comes to the time periods and such. And I only found out after the demo that apparently each of these stories plays out differently. And the far future is apparently just a visual novel murder mystery that only has one battle, and that's it. Apparently. Apparently there's battles and, like, main gameplay and, like, all the other routes. But the far future is the one that is literally just a murder mystery visual novel. So, I was so confused when I was, like, not having any real gameplay during the last session. Oh, I can't see here. Yeah, there we go. Because I'm just looking on OBS. Because I'm missing a monitor. Because I usually have, like, the game here and then OBS here. I'm just playing off of OBS right now. Is what I'm doing. So... If you can't see something because my camera blocks something, I can't see something because my camera blocks something. Again, just a one-off thing for Bob here. So, um, <laughs> so there's that. So, it seems like we, uh, wound up doing the route first that there is no real gameplay of. So, whoops. <laughs> so, whoops. But, hey, time for visual novel murder mystery stuff. So, what we're doing, is it not at, like, the cutoff point? like where the demo stopped because I need to remember what was going on so we're like this robot that's been designed here some people are pretty chill and cool with the robot some people are like pretty racist towards robots I guess or something or other um and like the person who created you and someone else were like going outside the ship to check some weird disturbance that was going on and they're like oh no what's going on what's happening and something like really crazy happens 
they're gonna get like infected or something and apparently it's gonna be like a murder mystery thing at least from what I heard from like reviews I was browsing some reviews of this game and it was talking about how all the uh, different routes were something different and it said that uh this one was a visual novel murder mystery and I was like oh that's why I didn't get any gameplay and I'll also just trust now that it's a murder mystery it might not be maybe this reviewer was mistaken so or maybe it's zombies maybe maybe Maybe, maybe. But yeah, for anyone who's not familiar with this already, Live Alive, Live Alive. This was this originally came out in 1994 on the Famicom, and uh, it was a Japan-exclusive title. It featured eight different routes, eight different stories, and this was the game that originally inspired Octopath Traveler. What with Octopath Traveler having, you know, the eight different main characters and, you know, the eight different stories and whatnot. So eventually, this game inspired Octopath Traveler, and Octopath Traveler did really well. And then, you know, they started developing some other HD2D titles, like Triangle Strategy that we played earlier this year. And I really like Triangle Strategy, actually. It w there were some parts that I didn't like about it. <laughs> like, there were some parts that were a little bit off, but for the most part, I really loved Triangle Strategy. Triangle Strategy was really cool. So they were like, huh, how about that 1994 game that was, like, a Japan exclusive? Why don't we just slap it into, like, the HD2D style and release it worldwide? So, that's what they did and such. So, and I really loved Octopath Traveler, and I love Triangle Strategy. So, <laughs> let's see the uh, game that originally inspired the format of Octopath Traveler and whatnot. Remastered in the Octopath Traveler art style. We shall see. So they get, like, infected with the big dumb or something. I don't know. But yeah, once again, forgive the uh, potato mic. It's gonna be this one-off. One-off. Hopefully I can get my good microphone working at the uh, frag venue. <laughs> if not, we're gonna be using this at frag. Like, worst case scenario. At least it's not, like, god-awful, I don't think, right? I was gonna do some proper testing before the stream and I forgot. Yeah, I remember seeing this at the end of the demo. So there's something wrong with his suit. So, yeah, probably shouldn't have done the uh, one that's just a visual novel first, but I didn't know. And now since we've already started the story, we may as well see it through to the end. So, you know. I don't know if we'll do any stories during the uh, frag thing or Bob. I don't know. We shall see. Also, when it comes to streaming things at frag... Um, that computer there probably isn't good enough to be, like, streaming, uh, games on its own. Like, playing a game on that, uh, on that PC while it's streaming it out is probably not good enough for that. So what I actually did when I was testing out Nier Replicant is I left this good computer here on, and I was using Steam Remote Play to have it be played off of my desktop here at home, streamed to my PC there, and, you know, just had that computer, like, play it, accept my inputs, and, uh, you know, stream it, essentially, to Twitch and such. Um, and so I did that on, like, my dummy account that nobody knows about. Just the, my account that I literally use just for testing things. Um, I don't know where the heck I'm going. I have no idea. Um, so where does it want me to go here? Is there a main objective marker? No, I have no idea. Um, and it was actually working pretty well. Like, there were some little hiccups here and there of lag with just with Steam Remote Play is the thing. But apart from that, it was actually playing, like, pretty beautifully. So, yeah, maybe we'll do a little bit more of Near Replicant. Speaking of Near Replicant, um, <laughs> so yesterday, part one of it went up, and part two was scheduled to go up today, and it did go up today. But, uh, <laughs> I kind of forgot to put in, like, the thumbnails and description and whatnot, considering, you know, it's been a kind of crazy couple days and such, preparing for this test event and whatnot, and staying up streaming video games and whatnot, so I, um, I didn't get around to that. So that video published today, just with, like, a generic YouTube background thing that it chose, and I looked like the most unprofessional content creator ever. I'd say as I use a potato mic. Um, <laughs> so there was that. So I literally worked on editing while I was at Frag, because, well, at this Frag test event, because, you know, I'd done my setup that I needed to, so I was like, I'll just do some editing. So I set up all 14 of the uh, near replicant parts thus far, and uh, so that's all figured out now. Is he dead? Does that mean that the other judo that was out there with him killed him? So this is going to be like a super spooky murder mystery thing, huh? And just a visual novel without gameplay. At least now I know. At least now I know that that's the case, and this isn't just, like, a game that has next to no gameplay. At least I know now, and I, you know, maybe I take back what I said about, you know, 
it being like the worst demo that I had ever- Well, it is still a really bad demo. I don't know why you'd have like the visual novel with next to no gameplay be like one of the three routes in the demo. You should have like all three gameplay ones for your three routes in the demo. I don't know why you'd make one, the visual novel one, and you know, have players think that that's not a visual novel one and they'd be super confused like I was. Like, why the heck? Why is there no gameplay? But now I know. We just have a little bit of a story to go through and adventure to go on. And apparently all of these uh, stories are, like, relatively shortish, like, two to four hours or something like that from what I heard online. So we're either going to do, like, a really tiny smidge here, or we'll just see it through tonight and then, you know, be able to start with a fresh story if we do some more this weekend. I don't know. We'll see. Also, this, uh, wait... I'm noticing on OBS that this microphone is picking up, like, the slightest little movements and the slightest things I'm doing. Did I have filters? Like, uh, yeah, I did have a noise gate and stuff on my other microphone. I should add one to this. I've never used this microphone to stream before, ever. Let's put a noise gate on, so it's not always on and recording, like, everything. Um, noise gate, noise suppression, and, um, what was it? It wasn't a compressor. What are the filters that I have on the other one that isn't plugged in right now? Um, let's see here. Filters. Um, it was a compressor. Okay, I can add a compressor to this as well. And that should make it a little bit better. I should have done this before the stream, but I forgot that it was a thing. Okay, well, now overall the mic should be a little bit better. Also, I wasn't even planning on originally bringing my whole mic arm. I was originally planning on bringing, like, just the, uh, whoa, just the mic stand that that goes into. But I couldn't find the screw that, like, goes into that, so... Maybe I'll try to scrounge something up tonight or something like that so I can just have the microphone sitting on the desk like that without the mic arm. But I I couldn't find it. I don't know where it is. So, you know, it really goes to show that when you need to, uh, when you need to move things places, you start to realize that you're missing things. Anyway, do I go check what's going on down there? He's all dead and stuff. I barely even remember him. Like, how long ago was it that I played the demo? Eric's body lies motionless in the bed, devoid of life and energy and po and bleh, devoid of life and energy and possibility, almost childlike in his vulnerability. His skin grows paler by the moment, as if color is desperate to flee the empty vessel. Okay. Um. Also, it's probably not. If this is gonna be a visual novel, it's probably not too important to turn my camera off for cutscenes for this, especially considering it's not like it blocks a whole lot anyway. So if I want to use things for thumbnails, I can still do that. But yeah, um, if you're missing something, just use bomb magic. What the? Sh Whoa, you're just saying like as Kerware it could be, and she'll rush on over and uh, be like, "Aha, here it is." She would have no idea where equipment stuff is. <laughs> if it's anything related to stuff that she's involved with, then she would probably know. But this probably not, unless thinking about like checking places for things. Is it just in my drawer? Whoa, 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 wait here. What if it's, like, right here? It's not. Dang it. <laughs> I was just thinking, like, this seems like a place that I would put something like that, right? I have a lot of papers and things in here. I know I have a bunch of spare GameCube buttons over there. Where did I put that knob? Hi, silly doggy. Also, no doggy cam right now. Because it's also on the other side of the city. I'm sorry. There's the doggy. Hi. Hi. Hi, you. So I'm sorry, there's no doggy count because I literally don't have it. Like, it's, there's no, there's nothing. But yeah, enjoy the lurk there, Anima. Would you like a treat? Would you like a treat, Jesse? Here, let's give you a treat. Uh, is there an auto advance? Oh, ZL. Wasn't the auto advance in this game really bad? Wasn't that why I had it on manual? Here you go, silly doggy. Oh, the auto advance is actually pretty good. It is a murder mystery then. Hello, hello, Nishara. How are you doing today? Do you like the freaking totally mic upgrade? There we go. Temporary doggy cam. Did you enjoy that treat? Did you enjoy that? Okay, yeah, well. <laughs> Where's the captain? Why isn't he here? She's in a play mode now. Okay, maybe I turned it down way too much. I was turning down the wrong thing. I'm sorry. What kind of ship are you this should be here? more like this. I'm sorry. 
I realized I was turning down the wrong thing earlier. Whoops. This is better. I'm sorry it was so quiet before. <laughs> the low, low Lancer, how are you doing? Um, yeah, so I was there. I was at the uh, frag test venue. And that's where a lot of my equipment is right now. That's why I'm using this mic. <laughs> why there's no doogie cam. Because um, it's out there. Um, and I wanted to stream and there were a handful of other people there. But everyone was like playing video games and not saying a word. Like nobody else was streaming. Nobody else was recording. Nobody else was playing games with each other. Nobody was talking. So like I waited there like editing for a while passing the time hoping that you know maybe some voices would pick up and then I wouldn't feel awkward about being the one person that's, you know, like this and whatnot and doing all this when, uh, you know, everyone else is just silently absorbed in their own world. But it just didn't happen, so I just went home. So I'm home now, and I'll go out again tomorrow morning. <laughs> it's the other thing. So, uh, cons post-COVID, maybe. I mean, there was just, like, a handful of people there. You know, this was still mainly the, uh, setup day and whatnot. Like, if I, uh, pull up the picture from Discord again. When I left, like, here was my setup. I was the first person set up. When I left, there was a person set up here. These tables were taken. This side of these tables were taken, and there were a couple people back there. So, there will probably be, like, some more people, like, this coming uh, this coming day. Yeah, enjoy the mic quality. It's a one-off. <laughs> it's a one-off. The next time that we stream in a stream, it won't be like this, is the case. Yeah, I can just point the camera at the doogie sometimes, because, yeah. The doogie... Oh. She brought her ball to me. Because this camera is, like, very, very set up where it is. Like, I mean, I can move it around and stuff like that. But, you know, it's uh, it's literally taped underneath my desk. It's very set up where it is. It'd be a pain in the butt to, like, move around and then, you know, set up there again sometime in the future. Hi, silly doogie. Um, so I, I took the doogie cam because the doogie cam is really easy to, un to unplug. Um, <laughs> my quality is a wonderful contrast to the futuristic setting. You're coming in. I'm, I'm freaking. I'm out in space. I'm lost in space. Um, help me. There's a murder mystery going on on the ship and stuff, and I need you to solve it. And I don't know what I'm doing. I guess it'd be the other way. Hold on. This, uh, this way. What? What, silly girl? If you want a treat from in that box, I just gave you one. I just did. <laughs> So yeah, I'll um I'll head out again tomorrow morning. I will for sure be doing some streams there tomorrow and there'll, you know, most likely be more people there and more things happening and we'll do like the little test Smash Bros tournament which I did set up a bracket for. So we'll get that all underway and such. This will probably be a short stream and a stream so there aren't even going to be like a whole lot of parts of a uh, you know this mic quality and such unless unless I can't get my good microphone working over there and I have to use this at the venue assuming we even stream any of this like at the at the event, which I hope to, but we shall see. I'm uh, I'm gonna be going along with my little cousin tomorrow. I don't know if he'd be interested in any live alive, live alive, so might not be doing any of it. I don't know. I don't know. Hi, silly doogie. I wish I could have a doogie cam to turn on right now. What does this game want from me? I don't even know. I'm so confused. Hi. <laughs> so, yeah, there's that. Where? Where does it want me to go? I wish that there was like an objective marker on the map. Gosh, dang it. I thought that that was where the control panel was. I am so confused. Don't tell me that it was at like the top of the map and I didn't see it because my uh, camera was blocking it. Is that what's going on here? It's so weird playing off OBS again because I'm missing a monitor right now. And having, you know, my camera actually blocking things in my field of vision as well. So, like, I'm literally playing the game, seeing the chat, and seeing myself. And it's weird. I've never played like this. Is it actually? Oh, my goodness, it is. Wow. I guess I could just use... What if I use this? There. That's better, right? <laughs> now I can see things a little bit better. Yeah. I normally don't play off OBS, but if you're missing a monitor, you sometimes gotta do what you gotta do. I mean, I could just put OBS over here. I just like having the stream manager over there. If it gets real bad, I'll I'll do that. <laughs> we shall see. But yeah, let's just see here. Do you have a second docking station for my Switch? Yes. I do indeed. Because uh because not only is there events like that, but my family has like a late cabin that we oftentimes go out to. So it's really nice to have a dock to take out there rather than, you know moving this set up here so you know i have uh, at that venue there the uh like a third party switch dock thing or bob like this small little thing that only goes over like the front of it there whereas here in the 
well, I guess this is in the city. They're both in the city. I have, like, the official Switch dock in the corner there that's very, like, set up with the uh, cabling and whatnot. Chapter's pretty cool. There's not a lot of combat. Co kind of like Chapter 5 of Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. Was there not a lot of combat in that? I haven't played Thousand Year Door in forever, but I hope to this year. Um, so I got to pick up Live Alive. You couldn't today. I just did it on the way to the venue, so I found a, I found the means to do so. Um, <laughs> But hope you have fun with Live Alive when you pick it up there, Live Alive, whatever. That, apparently, it's officially called Live Alive, but li I think Live Alive is better. So, to the fact that our hero is named Cube, and yet it's egg-shaped. I named our hero Poppy in honor of Xenoblade 2. And Xenoblade 3 is coming out pretty soon. That's pretty cool. Thinking about Xenoblade. So, we're gonna come to the bottom of the killings. Well, that's gonna suck for me in editing later, because that's probably a good place to cut it from, like, one part into another, and I was in the middle of talking right as it transitioned. So, whoops, I screwed myself. This is the train chapter. Oh, yeah, and that was a murder mystery as well, wasn't it? If I recall. When it comes to Thousand Year Door. I can't wait to play Thousand Year Door again this year. So, the objective marker. We're jamming. Uh, the coffee machine sits atop the counter, expectant use. Also, I can eat, make coffee, like the last time. Um. <laughs> also, maybe the potato mic is fitting for this game, since we're playing a game that originally came out in 1994. We gotta match a, we gotta match a little bit of the quality, I don't know. Don't know what to do. Think, think. Present your crewmate with a coffee, okay. Here. <laughs> There you go. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, no, uh, no problemo. Right. Chapter six, chapter five was the island. The island with Bobbery and whatnot. Or was it the other way around? Because I know that Bobbery's like the uh, last companion that you recruit, right? Um, <laughs> wait, what? Whoever well, the captain's gonna be behind it all. Are you still in your quarters? Well, anyway, there's been an accident. Hello, hello, the Ace of Flames. I'm afraid Kirk is dead. What? Really? <laughs> what? That's, really? That's most unfortunate. <laughs> well, he sounds really down about it. This situation merits an appropriate response. He will be dealing with <laughs> what, what is this, like, a company's official statement to disaster? <laughs> Not Captain Kirk! Captain. No! Well, I guess he wasn't the captain here, though, but... Your captain is a man of remarkable composure. He remains calm and collected, even after being told one of his crew has died tragically. <laughs> yeah, that's totally something to praise him for. <laughs> but yeah, well, I am for you, but I have to wake up at 6 a.m. You should totally try to get some sleep Seems then. I, have work to attend to. I do understand the feel there. <sighs> but, you know, I would assure you to turn off the stream and so stream, try to get some sleep. But, I do know the feel of, like, not being able to sleep at all, so I mean. Don't know if you're familiar with Live Alive or not. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, the captain must be Gustadolf. Just view everyone as tools and whatnot. Hey, this is part of the HD2D series. So it could totally be connected to Triangle Strategy. I doubt it's connected to Triangle Strategy. What, with what Triangle Strategy came out this March, right? And this just came out this month, so they're really close releases. I'm surprised they released two HD2D games so close to one another. You know, but yeah, my time to fall asleep to your stream. Wow, I'm that boring. No, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> um, so I could go either, uh, either way here. <laughs>